Hello everyone, and welcome back for today's update. In this video, we are going to talk about Winter Storm Silas, which has the potential of being a historic storm. Let's begin by timing out this system. Snowfall and rain will be moving onshore on Monday morning across portions of the northwestern coast. This rain and snow will slowly be working its way eastward through the morning hours of Monday. Snowfall will be moving into Idaho by the afternoon, with snow across other western states. This storm will continue east by the evening into the overnight hours, with snowfall reaching into Wyoming and Montana. And then, by Tuesday morning, widespread snowfall will develop across eastern Montana, with snow beginning to fall across North Dakota. This area of snow will continue to slowly move eastward across this area even by Tuesday night. By Wednesday morning, snow will be falling across the Dakotas, and Minnesota. By this point, this storm will be stalling out across this area continuing to drop heavy snowfall. By Thursday morning, the snow will start breaking up, becoming more scattered. This storm will finally move out of the country by Friday. Here is the Winter Storm Severity Index. Very little to no impacts can be expected from wintry weather across that light gray color. Minor impacts can be expected across the yellow color, mainly across roadways. Things become a little bit more dangerous in the moderate area, where driving conditions can start to deteriorate. Major impacts are possible across the red, due to very heavy snow and windy conditions. And lastly, a very dangerous extreme area is found in the purple, mainly across a portion of eastern Montana and North Dakota. This area will likely be receiving the heaviest snow, along with very strong wind, making for extreme blizzard conditions. It's important to avoid roads if you live in this area, because whiteout conditions can completely block your view of everything around you. And here are the current National Weather Service watches and warnings. Widespread winter weather advisories can be found in the purple color, covering counties in Minnesota, Nevada, California, Idaho, and more. Very widespread fire weather warnings can be found in that bright pink color, from southern Arizona all the way to South Dakota, and down through western Texas. High wind warnings are found in that gold color, covering counties across multiple western states. Blizzard warnings are in effect for the western half of North Dakota, northwest South Dakota, and far eastern Montana due to the combination of very heavy snow and strong wind. Winter storm warnings are found in that lighter pink color, also covering certain areas across multiple western states. And lastly, winter storm watches remain in effect for northern South Dakota, eastern North Dakota, and northwest Minnesota. Here are the expected snowfall accumulations. Widespread heavy mountain snow is expected, with the heaviest snow likely along the Oregon Cascades. Another area of heavy snowfall is anticipated from eastern Montana into North Dakota and Minnesota. Areas in the gray color will likely just receive a dusting to a couple inches, with a few inches of snow possible in the blue color. Areas in the purple may see snowfall accumulating in excess of 6 inches, with a foot of snow of more possible in the dark pink shade. The Oregon Cascades may receive snowfall accumulations approaching 3 feet. The next major threat that this storm will bring is severe weather. Here is the outlook for Tuesday, April 12th. A marginal risk extends from the Gulf Coast all the way to northern Wisconsin. A slight risk also stretches from the Gulf Coast to southwest Wisconsin and southern Minnesota. A dangerous enhanced risk of severe weather is found in the orange color, from northern Texas to the Iowa and Minnesota border. The threats include a 10% chance of significant tornadoes, a 15% chance of large hail, and a 30% of significant damaging winds. The next day of severe weather will be Wednesday, April 13. By this point, the risk will be very expansive, with a marginal risk stretching from the Gulf Coast to the Michigan Panhandle, with a slight risk also from the Gulf Coast to central Wisconsin. A concerning enhanced risk is in place from northern Louisiana into western Indiana. The threats will likely include significant damaging winds, multiple tornadoes, and a few occurrences of large hail. And now for the last threat I wanted to review in today's video, the flood threat. The first day of potential flooding from this storm will be on Tuesday, April 12th. A marginal risk of flooding stretches from northeast Kansas into northern Wisconsin. Another marginal area is in place from eastern Texas to southern Illinois, then down to the Gulf Coast. A slight risk is in place from about Memphis, Tennessee to far eastern Texas. The flood threat will continue into Wednesday, with a marginal risk stretching all the way from coastal Louisiana to the Canadian border. A slight risk is in place from the Gulf Coast to central Indiana.